Hello all, I am Annie from Smart Hard. Welcome to our new video on Android Material Design. Hope you are going good with the previous topics that we have been learning. In this video, we will be learning how to create complex lists and cards with material design styles in our application. To do this, we will be using the Recycler View and the Card View widgets. I will be showing you few examples of the Recycler Views and the Card View the places where it is implemented in the Android applications, I'll also be showing how to implement it in our own application. So let's proceed. First we will be learning about the Recycler View. What Recycler View is and why it is used. Recycler View simplifies the display and handling of large data sets. It is a widget which is a more advanced and flexible version of the list view. It simplifies the display and handling of large data set since it can be scrolled very efficiently and it also maintains a limited number of views. We can use the Recycler View widget when we have data collections whose elements change at runtime based on user action or the network events. We say this for the Recycler View since it provides the layout manager for positioning the item and it also provides the default animations for common operations such as removal of items or the addition of items. What am I talking about? We will be learning about in the upcoming videos. I will show you step by step what layout managers are and what default animation is provided by the recycler view. We will also learn how to remove or add items in our recycler view. The built-in layout managers that the Recycler View provides us with is Linear Layout Manager. The Linear Layout Manager shows item in a vertical or the horizontal scrolling list. On the left side of the screen, you can see my contact list that we are provided by default in our Android application. This list is the Linear Layout Manager. Here, the view is linear. This is the Linear Layout Manager. The next comes the Grid Layout Manager. Again on the left side of the screen, you can see you can see the speed dial that is provided by the Android device. This is the Grid Layout Manager. In this Grid Layout Manager, each item is in form of the grid and it is uniform. It shows item in a grid-like structure. Next comes the Staggered Grid Layout Manager. What is Staggered Grid Layout Manager? It shows item in a staggered grid. On the left side of the screen, you can see the gallery which provides us this layout for the Recycler view. We can see each item in the Staggered Grid Layout Manager is not uniform. It is of different height and unlike the Grid Layout Manager, it is not uniform. So this is Staggered Grid Layout Manager. Now we have seen what Recycler View is. Now let us proceed towards the Card View. What Card View is and how we can use the Card View widget for the Recycler View. Card View shows information in form of cards. It extends the Frame Layout class and helps us to show the information inside the card. It gives consistent look across the platform. We will be having our items inside the card. So it will be giving a consistent and uniform look to our list items. The card view can have shadows and rounded corners. If we wish, we can provide our card shadows, elevations and rounded corners. On the left side of the screen, you can see what card view is. The detail of each item is in form of a card. It has the rounded corner and certain elevations. This card view can be used with the recycler view to provide a list of item in form of cards. When we talk of elevation for the card view, for API level greater than 21, the real elevation is used. Whereas for API level less than 21, we have to provide our card views programmatic shadows. That is all about the card view. Now, let us proceed towards the steps that we need to follow for implementing the Recycler view and the card view. 
we will be proceeding with each of these steps one by one. Let us have a brief introduction of the steps that we need to follow to implement the recycler view with a card view. The first step that is involved is we need to create the list item layout using the card view widget. On the left side of the screen, you can see the demo application that we will be creating while implementing the recycler view with a card view. And this is the list item layout that we need to create for each of the item. Next, we need to add the recycler view to the activity main.xml. The recycler view widget has to be added in order to use it. Next, we need to define the data model to feed the recycler view. On the left side, you can see the demo application in which each item layout has an image view, description, and each item layout has different data sets. So we need to build this data model in order to feed the data into our recycler view list items. After that, we need to define the custom adapter for the recycler view. The custom adapter will be the subclass of recycler view dot adapter, which will be responsible for providing views that represents items in the data set. After defining the custom adapter, we need to link the adapter to our recycler view. It will be the process of preparing a child view to display the data corresponding to the position with the adapter. What it is and how it will be implemented, we will be looking into it step by step. Let us give a small thought to why it is called a recycler view. We call it recycler view since a view that was previously used to display data for the specific position may be placed in cache for later use to display the same type of data again. So what it does is it helps to recycle the display again and again. This drastically improves the performance by skipping the initial layout inflammation and using the cache to display the same type of data and the list items in the screen. This is the reason we call it recycler view and hence it is an advanced version of the list view. Let us switch to Android Studio and let me show you the initial project setup that I have made for implementing this recycler view with the card view in our application. So here is the recycler view and the card view project that I have created. Now let us move to the project hierarchy and let me show you what is the setup that is required. Moving to the app and the source directory. In the main directory, first let us see the setup that I have made for the resource directory. In the resource directory, for the drawable folder, first I have added all the images that I will be using for the list items in the recycler view. You can get these images by downloading the project from the link I have given below in the description from GitHub. I have used the images of 240 by 240 pixels. After the drawable folder, in the layout, we have activity main.xml. In the values folder, for the styles.xml, I have defined the base theme same as we had done for the previous applications. And there is main activity.java in which I have not done anything. The most important step that we need to follow is in the build.gradle file. We need to add the dependencies for the recycler view and the card view. Until you add these dependencies in the build.gradle file, you will not be able to use the recycler view and the card view in your application. So add these dependencies and sync your gradle before you start to write the codes. In the next video, we will proceed with the first step towards the creation of the recycler view and the card view in our application. The first step which I am telling about is to create the list item layout using the card view widget. That's all for this video. Stay tuned for the next video in order to implement the recycler view with the card view in your demo application. Thank you and have a good day.